this doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to look really pretty when we're all done. As a matter of fact, it's going to look like this. I made this earlier in the week. Uh, this is what we're making. We're making corn stalk wreaths for our October craft of the month. Uh, my friends from Petites and Pacatans helped us out. Actually, I, I saw this in a store. It was a corn husk wreath, and it was pretty expensive. It was over $35, and I thought, it's just corn husk. Why is it so expensive? So this is where I usually get my ideas in catalogs or stores. I'll see something, and I think, hmm, I could make it a lot cheaper than that. So I, uh, I Googled it. What do we do before Googling? I don't know. But I Googled it and see how other folks around the country did it. And a lady said that she soaked her corn stalks in warm, soapy water. And then I thought, do I have a container big enough for that? Uh, this isn't the container we used. It's, it's off in the uh, uh, porch area over there. But I used a, a cooler, you know, one of those big coolers that you use for a picnic or whatever. And I filled that full of warm, soapy water. And then I took all my corn husks off of the, uh, uh, the corn stalk and I dipped them in the water. You let them set for 10 minutes, even more. I've let them set overnight. You don't want to let them sit too long because then they get kind of stinky. But um, that's how you get them limber. You get them pliable to work with. And basically all you're doing is you're taking a straw wreath that we bought, bought at Pack of Tans. You're going to need floral pins like this. You're going to need some ribbon. Uh, you want the, the wired ribbon. Love the wired ribbon. Uh, you want some kind of a decoration or maybe even a bow. They have already pre-made bows at Pack of Tans. And then I got my corn stalks at Petite Garden Center. And one of their bunches of corn stalks, because they're so thick and big, will make two and a half wreaths. So you're going to get a lot of mileage out of that. And basically all we do is we take the straw wreath, we lay it down. We take our pin, and I've already pre-soaked these uh, leaves off the corn stalk, and you just kind of bunch them up. You know, it doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason to it because it should look kind of festive and, and fun and not perfect. And you just stick them in all the way around. Sometimes I put like a little slant to it too, um, and then you let it dry overnight in a warm, safe dry area uh, and then we've already dried this one as you can see this out of the way get this out of the way we'll let it dry something else and then to cover up these pins I took this ribbon with again these floral picks and all you're going to do is just kind of bunch it around. Put a little gap in between them. Make it look prettier. Like that. I love fall. It's my favorite, favorite time of the year. This would make a great gift for someone. Someone who maybe isn't feeling so good. Maybe a neighbor who's done something nice for you lately your mom, your aunt, people you work with, and it costs you next to nothing, I'm telling you. And it's so easy. I know I say that a lot, but it really is an easy project. And it's from the earth. It's natural. You're recycling. Remember we said in January we're going to try and recycle almost all of our projects this year. And remember, every month we do a different craft of the month, sponsored by Petites and Pacatans. And if you ever have any ideas for us, we're always looking for uh, fun, innovative ideas. We would love to hear from you. I don't have my partners in crime with me today. My nieces are usually helping me, but hey, you gotta book them. <laughs> you gotta book them early. They're at soccer. Uh, they're, they're always doing something after school. Now they're taking uh, violin lessons and Kyle is taking up the cello, believe it or not. Oh, my poor brother and sister-in-law are going to have a house full of noise for a while. But hey, that's great. They keep us going, them kids. They are going to be 10 this November and they are the light of our lives. So I'm almost done here. Almost done. Let me cut this part off right here. 
And again, I'm just, just putting a little pucker in it, and it covers up. The wired wreath covers up these floral pins. You don't really want to see those. You don't have to have any particular kind of ribbon. You can put this on the outside. It's not going to hurt anything. And I would imagine this would last another season. You know, put it in a, in a, a plastic bag or something for next year. And then get some wire. And really, you don't even need the wire. I just kind of stick the, you know, it's already got a stick on the end of it. And get a, a pretty little fall decoration. Or you can get one of the bows. You know, whatever suits your fancy. And just stick it right in there. Kind of bend it, mold it. There you have a beautiful fall wreath made out of corn stalks. That's our October craft of the month. We hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any ideas, always looking for them. Nancy at WDOK.com.